So here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot to the and grappling game. He is able to use throws to judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them. From the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to spin, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he can take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the place. So here he is right now at present, the best we have to offer at 145 pounds, the undisputed featherweight king, Alexander Volkanovsky. And you want to talk about a championship performance as betting underdog. A lot of people look at Rafael Dos Anjos back in the day against Showtime Tennis. How about what Volkanovsky did in outclassing Max Holloway to realize UFC goal? And he's just starting to put it all together. So it's a scary proposition for the rest of this featherweight division to think just how good this Volkanovski could be now, having made those improvements since winning the belt against him. now for this featherweight fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> in the business room, Dean is our referee Ready. tonight. Good. All right, here we go, early round action with the UFC featherweight champion, Alexander Volkanovsky. And when you want to talk about mixed martial arts evolution, perhaps no man has improved as much over the last two or three years than the featherweight king, Alexander Volkanovsky, so much so that his opponent tonight doesn't necessarily know what he is in for. Big shot to the head. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, nice jab by Volkanovski. Takedown defense holds up. And now some separation. Oh, nice. Nice. Nice straight there by Volka. Alexander Volkanovski has never lost a pro fight at 145 pounds, and if his boxing is any indication, that is a record that is probably going to hold up after time. I mean, Volkanovski follows the game plan to a T. Whatever you set out in front of him, he's going to do, and he's going to do it at the highest level. We saw that in this fight against Max Holloway when he became the UFC featherweight champion. Takedown defense. So three minutes off the clock in our first round. Oh, how clean is that jab by Volkanovski? 
Well, he's mixing it up beautifully tonight, and there it is again. Nicely done as he kicks the thigh, and some redness now starting to develop. Redness starting to show. His opponent needs to address this now before it gets so far down the line that he's playing catch-up. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Takedown defense holds up. Fire separate. Lands a big elbow there. Big right hand gets through. Oh, big head kicked in. Stuff to take down, no problem. And they separate after exiting the clinch. Shot right before the horn, and now a little bit gingerly, he makes his way back to the stool. And he's only got 60 seconds to recover here, so we'll see if his corner physically, mentally can keep this fighter in the fight. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating, they've got to be happy, everything's working, but the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Ready to fight? Ready. Second round on the way. Oh, nice inside leg kick, yeah. Volkanovski getting tattooed by that stiff jab. Oh, and there's that inside leg kick. And just slap yourself hard on the inside of your leg and tell me how that feels. I mean, it really hurts because that's the soft right. part of your leg. So you land that over and over again, the guy will have a very tough time maneuvering out of a lot of the techniques you throw at. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one can check the like next silver situation. All right, he's got him in the north-south position here, DC. When you're in this position, however rare it may be, what are you trying to do? I'm just trying to lay on. I'm just trying to cut air from going to your body. I'm just trying to make you carry my weight. I don't necessarily want to be here, and I don't know if this guy wants to be here right now. He will use this to try to get to the next position. Don't want to be there for more reasons than one. I don't want to be there. I don't want to be there on the bottom. <laughs> Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Volkanovski's in half court. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. So the crowd absolutely loving it as these fighters work their way back to the feet. The fighters are back to their feet now, and they can take in the applause because they deserve it after <laughs> Bring up over the top. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got a first very bad. Oh! Oh, how good is this? Both men going for the finish. Oh, my goodness! Keep going again! Go again! Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Well, Konovsky's cut above the eye now from that strike, so we'll see how the fighter deals with that definite adversity now. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. What a nasty kick. That was thrown with ill intent. Oh, just a nasty leg kick. That one hurt. That's going to I mean, he is throwing those kicks with evil intent. He is trying to break his leg with every single kick. Seconds winding down in round two. All right, that's the end of round number two. Heading back to the corner now after that round. 
Volkanovski is bleeding pretty bad from the forehead here. Hopefully the cut man can nip that in the bud and make sure that that blood doesn't trickle down into his eyes as the next round begins. All right, let us get you some replays from that previous round. He certainly got a lot done on the feet, and as such, he has opened up a pretty significant gash above his opponent's eye. Yeah, it was a buildup. He just kept popping him. He kept hitting him until something opened him up. And now he can see the damage that he's inflicting. Nothing feels better to a fighter than to see the person wearing your work. That is exactly yeah. what's going on right now. And the cut man is not the only one that is going to keep an eye on that wound as this next round gets underway. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body start to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent where he is. A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now what does he do at the top of the board? Get the ball here. He's got to find a way back to his feet. Just over three minutes now to go. Nice positional control here. Good movement defensively here on the ground by Volkanovski. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pop. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the lamp punches, so look for a submission attempt. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. And there you go, again, half guard. Making all these shots count. There it is, now he's on the mountain. Nice combination of strikes here from the top, standing over his opponent, not unlike Muhammad Ali over Sonny Liston. Oh, back in the day. that is a good reference. If you're standing and your opponent's on the ground, you're doing really good work. Oh, big elbow. Oh, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Lands with the ground and pound. Nice transition. He's got a flat on his back. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. All right, so he gets back to his feet after that extended battle on the ground, and the crowd is loving it. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. Beautiful. Beautiful. Please. Let's keep it up. He can't keep up with you. You train way too hard for this. You're looking great. All right? All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Oh, straight punch. It's there again. Right on the button. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Ooh, uppercut lands. Well, I'm not sure if that is crimson or purple, whatever the shade. Another bruising calf kick lands push. I can't believe he came. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He 
He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Huh. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Oh, and he caught the kick. about to start. Oh, big, big shots here. He's got to be careful here. Volkanovski's in half goal. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give it more of an advantage on the map? Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. He's work. I'm standing up. He's work. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Well, Dars, yep, he's trying to hit a Dars here. Oh, man, he's getting deep. It looks like the Dars choke is in. He's got it locked in now. What he's got to do is start to feed his hips, try to hook the leg so that his opponent can't roll his back. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand-up, get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks, but get to your handstand. Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he ducks. Oh, 20 minutes oh. down, fuck, fuck, potentially fuck. five to go. All right, so for one fighter, the round mercifully comes to an end as we look back at some of the action. What a display of ground and pound. It's his calling card. It's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a brutal ground and pound fighter, and he showed you just then why he's known as that in the MMA sphere. He's the guy that if he gets you down, he will dominate you with positioning and brutal, nasty ground and pound. It is the fifth and final round. Oh, perfect head kick there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, head kick there as it lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Well, he's got him softened up here. Oh, Volkanovski's in half guard now. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Now he's going full mount. He's got to be careful here. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Ground strikes are just brutal. All right, dominant position for him here. Full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips. DC. Oh, you got to start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Oh, another strike lands from the top. Got to be careful here. Oh, great ground strike there, and now blood is a factor. 
Well, they won't need to go bonus begging after this one. They're getting a bonus tonight. This fight has been all action from the opening hole. I mean, what a phenomenal fight. Both fighters should be very proud of themselves. Print the shirts, ground and pound. Volkanovski's right back to the full mount here. So how about that as he pounds him out for the TKO, prioritize the finish tonight, absolutely gets it with style points, a huge, huge result here in this arena tonight. It's always fun to see an athlete tell you what they're gonna do and then they do it. This guy told us he was going to get a finish and that's exactly what he did. Him and his team are gonna have a fantastic time tonight celebrating. They should all be very proud. We set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, ten seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by TKO, Alexander the Great Bonanowski! All right, we're becoming a little bit of a broken record with this guy, Alexander Volkanovsky by TKO. Another dominating performance here in the featherweight division. I mean, because Johnny shows up, he fights, he wins. It's always rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. He has all the skills in the world, man. And every time he steps in,